Hello everyone. Just over four years ago, on the 16th of January 2018 to be precise, I presented my credentials to His Excellency President Erdogan and formally began my service as the British Ambassador to Turkey. Here are a few reflections on this anniversary. I originally came to Ankara in the 1980s as a junior diplomat on my first posting. I always knew I wanted to come back because Turkey is such a fascinating country with wonderful people and terrific hospitality. It took me 30 years, but I did it. What's changed since then? The scale of development, roads, airports, bridges, hospitals and the like is deeply impressive. I've noticed more colour and energy in modern Turkey than the Turkey of the 1980s. There's lots of noise and debate facilitated, of course, by social media and a multiplicity of TV channels. And Turkish society is right at the forefront of our technological age. The British-Turkish relationship was pretty good in the 1980s. It's even better, even stronger now. And following Brexit, Turkey and the UK are the two big European countries not in the European Union. We are geographically at opposite ends of the European continent. Both of us hugely value our connections to the EU and European bodies like the Council of Europe, while at the same time busily engaged in other regions of the world. One constant of the last 40 years is the importance of our strong defence partnership as NATO allies. What have been the highlights of the last four years? President Erdogan's visit to the UK in May 2018, the record number of British tourists visiting Turkey, around 2.6 million in total in 2019, our bilateral trade shooting past the $20 billion target, Turkey's support for the UK hosting COP26 at Glasgow, followed by Turkey ratifying the Paris Treaty, the exchange of scientific information about the coronavirus since the early days of the pandemic, and Turkey's supply of personal protective equipment for British health workers. I could go on in this vein. There's a long list of good things. But maybe the most important success was our new free trade agreement, which we signed on the 29th of December 2020. On a personal note, my wife and I have really enjoyed travelling around the country, from Gaziantep to Gelibolu, from Antalya to Sinop, from Alachata to Elazığ, and to so many more places. And when our spirits need a lift, there's always the incomparably exciting and wonderful Istanbul. I'm not leaving anytime soon, inshallah. There will be many more good things to celebrate in Turkey-British relations, and I'll make more visits to beautiful and historic parts of Turkey in the coming months. And as it's that time of year, let me wish everyone a very happy healthy and successful 2022. Thank you.